Hello and how's it going then? here and welcome back back to a brand new video here on the channel. It's Tuesday evening, we're playing on the park for the lights once again. The Rams are hosting Oxford United in this evening's League One clash. Now guys, if you're new to my channel, if this is the first time that you are seeing my ugly mug on your screen, then do me a massive favour by hitting like, subscribing and hitting the bell icon next to that so you don't miss out when I upload a brand new video on this channel. It's simple and easy as that. We are on the road to 500 subscribers, so if you haven't already subscribed, then please do that now. It just helps me out, helps bring, helps me out, bring best content for you guys, and also helps you to out the room. So if you haven't already done that, please do that now. Coming into this game on the back of a 3-0 win over Burton on Saturday, could do with back-to-back -back wins ideally. Um, I thought we were probably second best in the first half in that game against Burton. Um, but the second half came out a lot better. Dominated the game and got a 3-0 win somehow. Um, I think today's, today's match isn't going to be easy. Oxford are, you know, they're, they're quite a solid side to break down. You know, it was only 1-0 win when we played them on the opening day of last season. Um, and they've got players that can hurt you. Cameron Brannigan's definitely a player to be watching out for. They also signed Rodriguez from Lost County as well. He's going to be a danger man for them. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting today's match to be easy. Probably a one 0 win either way. But I'm feeling confident. After that win against Burton, I think we'll be injecting a bit of positivity into the team. So I'm going to go for a one 0 derby win today. I'm going to go for Max Bird being the goal scorer tonight. It'll be interesting to see how we play after that win. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be positive. Uh, positive response and kicking on from, you know, a good side away win um, on Saturday. Uh, but with that further ado, guys, here's Saturday's team's lineup for Comfort and Comfort to come on the Rams versus the Oxers. Game. The only game we know that made a mistake is against Burton. Mistake 
mistake, that's a mistake. It's just costing us. It's costing us games. Derby nil Oxford won. Three home games, three mistakes from defenders. It's just, it's bad football. It's annoying to watch as well. Like we were doing all right up until the goal. Like we were keeping possession well. We were, you know, we were covering the box. But at the back, we're just not stretching them enough. And we're, we're missing a striker that's got a bit of pace about them, like, like how we had a Sula last season, or like how we had a Dobbin, we had a, like, you know, we had pace up front, and that's what we're lacking this season, we are lacking pace up front. The only player that we've got that actually sits on the shoulder, and makes runs in behind is Washington, and he's on the bench. It's just not good enough for the minute. It's annoying, it's just annoying. Because we should be doing a lot better, we should. The quality that we've got in our squad, we should be doing so much better. And we're not, we keep losing to teams. Because we're playing back. Because we're gifting them goals. Three goals in three home games we've gifted to the fucking opposition for their goals. It's not good enough, it's just not good enough. But then again, the referee's not being strict enough with Oxford. The amount of times that, like, okay, I don't like blaming referees, but that was a shocking performance from the ref. The amount of times, the amount of free kicks that he's given Oxford for blatant, the blatant dives, going down too easy, simulating free kicks. It's about the Korean performance as well. I, I'm not blaming the referee for the reason that we're on the down because you know Oxford got their goal because we were back. But then again, the referees are being shaked up. Oxford shot at least three or four yellow cards in this half, and it's disgusting the way that we're being treated by these referees. Right, second half to come. I'm, I'm not feeling positive in the second half, unless we, unless we come out fighting, all guns blazing. I can't see us getting a goal. Go on. Go on. Go on.
the season. We are so fucking bad. We're chasing shadows all game. And obviously deserve to be two nil up. It's a shambles. It's an absolute shambles. Why can we not finish at home? Supposed to be favourites for promotion this season, and at the minute we're all like favourites for relegation. It's simple as that. <laughs> one. Yeah! Got one back with Martin Wagon on. I think it's too little too late though. Nice one, take you Every time I've stood on the ball, it's almost like they're going to score. It's pretty much the same over unless they get something good in the last two minutes. Full-time here at Pride Park. Third game in, third home game of the season. Third loss of the season at home. Derby one, Oxford two. I'm just... I had so much confidence going into this season. I know we're only three, like, three games in. I had so much confidence in this team coming into this season. My God. Can, can we just like, not keep giving goals away. It's third, like I said, third game in a row where we're giving goals away, which is costing us the game. This could have been a game where we could have got a, a draw. I thought, you know, last last ten minutes, you know, we got a we got one back. I thought we might push on and get an equaliser, and you know, we almost did. Washington just giving past the post, and you know, it shouldn't be taking us. Like the last five ten minutes for us to like get an equaliser, we shouldn't be two nil down in the first place. Credit to Oxford, you know, they came in, they did a job on us, they defended, they defended good at the back. Um, and their second goal, you know, it was it was a good finish, good finish from the edge of the box, bottom corner, past Wild Smith. Um, but the first goal, fuck me, you should really, you need to stop giving so many balls away. In dangerous positions. First game it were Bradley, second game it were fucking Elder, and now it's fucking Nelson. It's like this is a brand new back line. And at the minute we're just really not looking confident at the back. I honestly don't think that this formation is the way forward. Look, Oxford they deserve the win. They deserve the win. It's not about blaming the ref. It's nothing to do with the ref, you know. Oxford won fair, fair and square. We just weren't good enough yet again. And like I said, I think it's the formation that's not working. I know Paul Warren's trying to implement something new and it's something new for the club, but it's really not. It's not working at the minute. You can't sit back and say, oh yeah, we beat Burton on their own backyard, because that's just one positive, you know, one positive of the season. Okay, we beat Burton on their own backyard, but you need to be going into your next games following through on a win and I say it's all time it's about looking at our wounds and going into the next one but at this, at this rate of the season I'm just not feeling confident anymore you know like I said three games in it's not be all and end all you know we've still got still got 43 matches left of the season but it's not real it's not really a confident start of the season that we wanted we should have been going into this game beating Oxford. Like I said, respect to Oxford and the fans, you know, they bought a decent amount of fans, made a decent amount of noise. The team came and did a job on us because we weren't switched on. It's simple and easy as that. But yeah, that's where I'm going to put it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. I think more Oxford fans probably enjoy this video more than my fellow Derby fans. Next up on Saturday, Fleetwood at home. 
how confident I'm going into that one. <laughs> Not in the slightest considering what we did to us last season. <laughs> well, let's buckle in for another tumultuous derby match. I've been Niall, you guys have been brilliant. See you all on Saturday. Thanks.